In this video, I want to share with you a low competition evergreen niche that is selling on Merch by Amazon. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch by Amazon and Etsy. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Now, before I share with you that low competition evergreen niche, I just want to do a quick sales update for Merch. So, it is currently 6.04 p.m., sitting at 31 sales, $27 in royalties. That is going to put me at 251 sales for the month. $313 for the month of March. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post my daily sales for both Merch by Amazon and Etsy, the link is in the description. I also post like gym picks, entrepreneur picks, lifestyle picks, just like my life down here in Mexico. I'm born and raised in Mill Valley, California, but I've been living in beautiful Puerto of Vallarta, Mexico for the past 18 years. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the content of the video. So the low competition evergreen niche I have for you is backgammon. And I'll just quickly share with you how I found this niche. So, um, like I've been saying, you know, sometimes I use flying research, sometimes I use uh, TikTok, but a lot of times I just use my ears and my eyes when I'm just out and about. And the other day I was at my girlfriend's house with my son and he was watching this kind of like car cartoon, uh, chess video. And one of these, one of these games that I play with myself is whenever I see like a niche, I always try and like test myself to see if I can find some type of micro niche or some type of sub niche. So I was thinking chess. Okay. No, that's probably too competitive. Uh, but I thought, what are some other games that are kind of like related to chess? And I thought, okay, backgammon, maybe backgammon. So I went ahead and I just popped in backgammon to a merchant former. And when I hit enter, I saw that it was low in competition. Now it's not like, you know, the video I made the other day about Yerba Mate where it was like a hundred, but it's under a thousand. That's pretty much my threshold. The lower the better, but if it's over a thousand, then I'm probably just not even going to mess with it. Oh, I got a cancellation. Um, no big deal. But yeah, so we can see that it's under a thousand results. Which meets, which, uh, which meets the benchmark. And when we go to the third page, we're going to see that's still under a thousand results on the third page. So low in competition. And when we take a look at this niche right here, we can see a lot of designs have BSRs. They have reviews. And the thing that I really liked about this uh, niche is that there's just so many design phrases and so many design styles that you can use for this, um, for this niche. So I'm going to go over some of the designs that I made uh, for this niche at the end of the video. But I just want to show you uh, kind of what the designs look like and um, the the, uh, the BSRs. Now, one thing that I noticed with a lot of them, some are just very simple where it's just a backgammon board like this. Like you don't even have to really do any text. I mean, you could just do a straight text design. You could just do a straight clip art design or you can combine the two. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at Etsy to see the competition there. So when we go to Etsy. Uh, it doesn't show us anymore. I don't know why they're not doing that, but um, if it's low on Amazon, it's probably going to be low on Etsy. And we can see one thing that I like about Etsy is you can also get some design ideas. So I like backgammon and maybe three other people. It's a beautiful day for backgammon, queen of backgammon, king of backgammon. I'm, I'm noticing king of backgammon was probably the most popular one. Um, best backgammon player ever so one of the reasons why i like to go to these other websites is just to get some ideas some t-shirt design ideas some sayings and then use my own creativity to make something similar or maybe even better now we can see the competition on redbubble and redbubble there's only 303 results and one that i saw that is uh that caught my eye was tears of people i beat at gat at backgammon and this made me think of some of my etsy mugs this is a really good design saying for a lot of niches for mugs all right so if you're selling on etsy i would highly recommend that you send uh, that you sell mugs in my opinion they're better than t-shirts because um you know they're, they're going to sell very well because they just make great gifts you're barely going to get any returns um and if you charge shipping you can actually make you know 10 to 15 bucks a mug uh, depending on what size it is I, if it's either the 15 or the 19 ounce i use printful but right here you can just make a design like this tiers of the people i bet i beat at backgammon and then you can scale this design and do like tennis golf chess i mean there's so many like poker there's so many kind of board games sports games that you can use so that just kind of uh caught my eye i just want to mention that and when we take a look at t public we're going to see what some of the designs look like here can't see how many um, but i'm sure you could probably beat out these designs right here um now i did take a look to see if backgammon king and backgammon queen were trademarked i didn't see anything but for all those other phrases that i was recommending you know just make sure you do that your research you just want to go to this uh website right here up so you're just going to type in the actual phrase that you want to use and you just want to make sure that it's not in the clothing category which is 25. all right now when it comes to designing this 
you can get some clip art from Creative Fabrica. This is my go-to spot for clip art designs fonts. If you want to sign up for Creative Fabrica, I do have an affiliate link in the description. Um, now, to be honest, I wasn't seeing the best, but I use this one right here for my designs. Um, another option would be Vexels. I only found two options, and I also took a look, look at Ideogram, but I wasn't really able to get the right prompt. I think I need to do a little better job on my prompts with Ideogram. Um, another spot that you can go to is Etsy. All right, so if you just go to Backgammon Board PNG, you're going to see they have some good clip art that you might be able to use. Now, you do have to check with the seller to see if this is allowed for Merch by Amazon and Print On Demand websites. So you just go to the listing. Like if you want this one, you just have to check the description. And if it doesn't say in the description, then I would recommend you just message the seller and just ask him straight up, hey, can I use this on Merch by Amazon? Can I use this on um, you know other Print On Demand websites? And they will just tell you yes or no. All right, now let's go ahead and do some designing for this niche. So I'm going to show you some of the designs that I came up with. So we're going to jump over to Photoshop. And the first one that I wanted to share with you is this one right here called Backgammon King. And a lot of people were asking me when I showed them my, um, I made a Trump design earlier this week. I think it was too big to rig. A lot of people were asking me about the font that I used. Um, and the font, and this is the same one right here. You can see this is kind of like distressed font. I think it looks pretty good, actually. It's called Bernier. And if we just go to Google and type in Bernier font, you can actually get it on the font. So that's a website that sells fonts. So it's this one right here. You can see um, you can download it for free. But if you're interested, that is one that I'm using. And that's the font that I use for actually all these designs. Uh, but so this is the first one that I came up with right here. And let's just open this folder up because you can also, or I also did... Uh, queen so where is it so right here queen get rid of king so you know you can put, do it for both men and women another option that I thought of is um, I would rather be probably make this a little bit smaller let me move this down do some live designing I would rather be one thing that I'm thinking about doing maybe is to start doing some live streaming um, we're actually do design or niche re niche research. Need to make this smaller. Uh, maybe like half an hour on like Mondays. Comment below. Let me know if you'd be interested. I've never done. Or I I did one live stream, um, but I was just streaming myself basically. I want to be able to show my screen, so I think I'm gonna have to get like Streamyard. I would rather be playing. Let's go ahead and make this right here. This probably might not be the best design, but let's see back. Gammon. So maybe that could work. Whoops. Maybe something like that right there. So that's three designs with the sunset, with the retro sunset. Let me know what you guys think of this design here in the comments. Um, and then, oh, that's annoying me. There we go. And then a couple other designs that I came up with were just some real simple uh, basic text designs. You know, you don't have to be a great designer to get sales on Merch by Amazon or to design uh, uh, t-shirt designs for Merch by Amazon. So here is a text design. So let me get rid of this. So right here, eat, sleep, backgammon, repeat. Uh, this design phrase is one of the design phrases that I recommended in a video that I made where I recommended like five or six design phrases. You know, this is, you know, one of the all-time greats, eat, sleep, and then you just pop in any type of niche. So eat, sleep, backgammon, repeat. I think it's pretty good with the retro colors. And another one I did was best backgammon dad ever. And the reason why I like this one is because it's cross niche, you know, with um, dad and backgammon. And it's also funny, best backgammon dad ever. And then I also did another one, probably not the best design, but Dad, the man, the myth, the backgammon legend. So this is also kind of funny. Um, it's cross niche, so it could be good for like Father's Day, right? So those are the designs that I came up with. And then when it comes to actually uploading this onto Merch by Amazon, let me show you the keywords that I use. So this is a design that I chose. I thought this was the best one out of all of them, backgammon king. Um, this is what it looks like on all the uh, apparel t-shirts, sweaters, hoodies, um, and the keywords that I went with. You know, again, I'm not the best when it comes to keywords. I basically just do keyword stuffing. What I like to do to get keywords, I just like to come to this first page right here of Backgammon. and I'm just kind of looking at the title. I'm just looking for like uh, words that might work. So obviously Backgammon, but Lover, that could be one. I also saw like board game a lot. So like board game, player. So basically I just want to like jot those down. 
and then maybe just and then just keyword stuff them into my title so i'm just going to go back here and you're going to see what i came up with so backgammon king board game lover player and then i add in retro because it's a retro design and then i also like to always add in the demographic who is this for so this is going to be for men could even be for boys so i need to actually check that off at the top here because i don't think i added youth And you always just want to double check to make sure that there's no word that might get you in trouble for youth. So backgammon, king, board, game, lover, player, retro, men's book. Okay, so I don't think anything there. And then basically what I will do is I will just go ahead and copy my title. And I will paste it into bullet one and bullet two. Again, this isn't the best way to do it. It's probably better to take some more time and maybe write out like a cohesive uh, paragraph that makes sense. But I'm just too lazy to do that. And this is just the way that I do it because I just want to get designs up. Uh, quick as quickly as possible and then for the brand I went with backgammon board game player and when you have the productor extension you can just click on this um, button right here and it will do a keyword check for you and basically what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for like any red phrases nothing pops up just these yellow ones right here so it looks like we're good to go so then I would just go ahead and publish this all right so that is the niche to have for you guys today comment below what you think about this niche now again it's not the I think it's good, but I don't think it's as great as the one that I, the Yerba Mate one, just because it's a little higher in competition, but still under a thousand. And I think this one's good because there's just so many design phrases that you can use. So whatever your favorite design phrases are that you like to use with uh, niches, go ahead and apply the backgammon niche. Um, and then maybe tomorrow I will make a video kind of going over the designs of the, of the niches that I recommended this week. So the Yerba Mate one. Um, I put out one today on one of the shorts. It was like 364 days of being, actually, let me see if I can just find it right here. I think it was like 364 days of being Hispanic, but today I'm Irish. Yeah, so this is the one that I recommended in my shorts. So I'll make sure you're following me so you get, because I usually put out a short every day about a, a trendy niche, evergreen niche, like a Merch by Amazon tip or just some type of motivation. Uh, but I'll go over the designs that you made and we can just kind of take a look at them, see what you guys did good, see if there's anything you can improve on. Um, but that's going to be it for today's video. If you want to learn how I make sales like this on a daily basis, check out the um, first link in the description. It's a link to my course on Udemy. It's only 20 bucks. Uh, it's good for beginners or for people that are struggling to get sales on Merch by Amazon. All right. So again, like I said, this is going to be the video for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.